everybody and welcome back to my kitchen where Carla is cooking. Today I'm super excited because this meal is a meal inspired by um, a comment that was left on one of my other salad videos and it was a request for a burger bowl salad. And I thought, gosh, that sounds super fun. A nice twist off of a hamburger without the bun. And uh, so we're gonna do that today and it is gonna be oh so good. So let's get started. Audio jungle. So we're gonna go ahead and build this burger bowl. We're gonna leave the bun behind and we're gonna take a nice big bowl and we're gonna start with a, a bed of salad uh, of your choice and then we're gonna build the burger inside the bowl. It is gonna be so, so good. I'm going full on loaded hamburger for my bowl today. So, all right, let's get started with the burger because it's gonna take us the longest, but it's not gonna really take that long because we're gonna do these burgers in the air fryer. All right, I've got a one pound, um, package of ground beef from Trader Joe's. Uh, they've got all different kinds of leanness. I went with the 90-10 for a little bit of a leaner burger. I love these little one pound meat packs. Uh, we call them meat bricks at the store. Uh, at least I do because uh, rarely do I need more than one and so it's just really easy. So I've got one pound there and then I'm just gonna season it up um, with some of my favorite seasonings. I've got a 21 Salute. There's all kinds of yummy little seasonings in this bottle. The seasoning selection at Trader Joe's is outstanding. 99% um, of the seasonings in my uh, cabinet there are Trader Joe's. This one, I'm gonna sneak this in. This is an umami season. Yeah, umami. Say that five times. Umami, umami, umami. Anywho, um, it's a yummy little mushroom blend. And I just thought that would add a nice little meaty flavor because I do like mushrooms on my hamburger, although I don't have any mushrooms today. All right, so we're gonna go with the seasoning. And then I'm gonna do some salt and pepper. Nice. All right. All right, guys, so um, I've got my seasoned up ground beef. I'm gonna take an egg, I'm gonna crack this guy. We're gonna get a little egg in there. And then I've got some Italian style breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Sometimes, guys, I just do the ground beef and seasonings for my burgers. And sometimes it resembles a little bit more of a meatloaf style burger. I don't know why I do that, I just do it. And this is a little ooey gooey, so we're gonna go ahead and get more breadcrumbs there. All righty, because I don't want these guys falling apart in the air fryer. Now, I am just mixing to combine because I have learned and I've read many places that um, when you over mix your meat, you uh, make it dry, kind of tough, dry. So now one of my favorite chefs, actually she's a cook, whatever, chef, cook, she calls herself a cook. Um, she scores the meat, she scores the meat so that she gets nice even patties. Um, and so I like that idea because if you've ever made hamburgers, if you don't have one of those like hamburger presses, then sometimes you wind up with, um, different shape sized hamburgers and you know, it's nice when they can all kind of cook up the same. All right. I'm going to go a little bigger and a little thinner on this patty for my a burger bowl. So I thought that was such a fun idea. Uh, I took the request and I ran with it because it's always nice, I feel like, to have something a little different uh, in your kind of recipe box, right? It's like you could do a taco bowl, you could do a fajita bowl. I've done a salmon bowl, one of my salmon bowl videos. Like you could do a veggie bowl. You know, you don't have to do meat at all. You can do a meat substitution if you wanted to. Um, but I like these meals that you just kind of can lay all the ingredients out. Let me wash up. Um, where you can lay all the ingredients out, like if you were entertaining and just have people build everything, right? Just give everyone a bowl and they can go to town. All right, guys, in the air fryer. Let me get my little spatula here. Um, I sprayed it already, 
So, all right, burger one, burger two, and burger three is going in there. Now, I want you to see how nice these fit. If you're not on the air fryer train, get on it, because you're missing out. All right, in the air fryer for 350 for about 15, 20 minutes, okay? Uh, when you use an air fryer, there is a little bit of an adjustment period where you're kind of figuring out, you know, how to use it and all that jazz, but um, I'm pretty good with it now, and it really saves me a lot of time, so I love it. All right, next thing that's going to take me just a minute is going to be, uh, I want to do some onions because I love, get the stove, there we go. Uh, I'm going to get some butter in the pan because I love to do like a little bit of a, a caramelized onion. Now, at the store, we have these diced onions, and I love the convenience. It's a little container, and they're already diced up, so you're not cutting up any onions. Like, if I was having company, I didn't want my makeup smear or whatever, I would totally go that route. Um, but I'm going to cut my own onions today, so no problem. But I guess I was just letting you know, because if you're not a fan of cutting onions or it's just something you hate to do, you can totally just... Uh, go to the produce section and get the already cut onions. It's such a convenience item. There are so many of these convenience items. Um, and it's really cool because when I'm uh, at the register and customers ask me like, so what are your favorite, you know, items to eat or what are some of your favorite things? I always go to my convenience items and those chopped onions is one of them. All right, so. That's that. We're gonna, I'm gonna let this get nice and hot for us. Now, let's talk about um, the salad that we're going to use for the bowl. So like I said, I've got a nice big bowl. And I just uh, featured this salad actually in my Trader Joe haul. It's one of my favorite lettuces. Um, it's triple washed, it's ready to go. It's green leaf, radicchio, frisé. It's got some carrot shreds in there. I have just a little bit left, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with that, and if I feel like I need more, and actually, you know what, I've got some bigger pieces in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give these just a little bit of a rough, a rough chop. But this radicchio is the red stuff, and it's, uh, I don't wanna totally say it's bitter, but it definitely does have a little bit of its own uh, taste. And that's one of the reasons that I like this salad. I've also noticed, you know, sometimes when you get the pre-cut salads, uh, sometimes they can, you gotta use them within like a day or two, I noticed. But this one holds up really, really well as long as I kind of seal it up all airtight and everything. All right, so guys, I'm gonna literally just do that. Take the bowl, I've made a nice little spot for my hamburger, and then I'm just gonna pile all the yummy stuff up, and I'm gonna show you what all that yummy stuff up is that I'm gonna pile up on my burger. All right, so, whoop, this guy is ready to go. Great, get the skin out of there. And you know what, if I have a little extra um, onion, no problem, because I can use it for something else. So I'm not worried about having too many onions. All right, just gonna give a little pepper to my onions. I love grilled onions or sauteed onions on my hamburger. So that's what inspired the onions. So we're gonna let that go. Um, and now I'm gonna slice up some tomato because I want tomato on my burger. And so I'm gonna do a couple of slices for that. Okay, so I've got my tomato. That's going to be ready for me. How about a pickle? Do we like pickle on our hamburger? I do. So I've got these guys, kosher dill pickles. Um, I didn't go with the slices because I thought it might be kind of fun just to have like chunks of pickle on my salad. Kind of like you would do a cucumber. So I've got the uh, pickle that I'm just gonna 
kind of chunk up. Wow, I love pickles. You know, people are really picky on their pickles too, right? Um, I know we've talked about the mayo thing. We've talked about the olive thing. What about pickles, you guys? What is your favorite pickle? Do you do Clawson? Do you do Mount Olive? Do you do the garlic? Do you do just a basic, like, um, at least a basic kosher dill pickle? Do you like bread and butter? Drop me a comment, I wanna know. And subscribe if you like my videos. I just wanna know that I should keep doing them. So like it, share it, subscribe, okay? Comment, I wanna know. What do you want to see me cook next? I'd like to know that too. All right, these onions are looking delicious. Great. So I've got pickle, I've got uh, tomato, we've got the lettuce in the bowl. I'm gonna use the ketchup, mustard, and a mayo, okay? Now, I also want bacon. Who doesn't want bacon on their burger? I do, yes please. Sometimes I make bacon in the air fryer. Today I'm not, I'm gonna microwave it. This is the fully cooked, uncured bacon. No nitrates, nitrates added. So we're gonna use this. Again, another convenience item. It's like, why not, you guys? Some days, like on the weekend, no problem. I don't mind making bacon. We have some really fantastic bacons at the store. Um, we have a thick cut, we have an apple wood, we have a black forest. We have like a low sugar one. So we've got a lot of choices. It's just sometimes I don't want the mess, right? All right. So that's gonna go just about a minute. So we're gonna do that. Let's talk about the condiments. I know I just kind of rattled them all off. And I don't want to get any nasty comments about this. I like ketchup. I am not apologizing to like ketchup on my hamburger. I won't talk about other things I put ketchup on, but I do like ketchup on my hamburger. So we're gonna use the organic ketchup from Trader Joe's. I've got uh, the mayo from Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna use it up. I have just a little bit of that. And we're gonna do a little extra twist on the mustard. I'm going with my aioli garlic mustard today. We do have just a regular yellow mustard, but I wanted something fun. And that's what I had in my fridge. So that's what we're gonna use. All right. These onions are done. That took just about a couple minutes, didn't it? So we're gonna set those aside. We're gonna let the burgers continue to work and then we're gonna come back and we are gonna build this burger. All right guys, the air fryer beeped at me, but guess what? Almost forgot the cheese. I love a good cheeseburger. Today I'm gonna use the Munster sliced cheese. So uh, I checked on the burgers. They have just about another few minutes to go. I'm gonna put a piece of cheese uh, on top of each one of them. So I've got three burgers. I could have done four smaller like sliders, but again, I went with a little bit of a larger patty. And so I'm just gonna lay these on top of the air, uh, in the air fryer here, just like that, just like that, okay? And now we're gonna put them in for a few more minutes. All right. And we're gonna let those go. All right, you guys, it's time to check on these burgers. I have a feeling you're ready to get done here. Ooh, they look done. Look at how cheesy, melty, you guys. How good is that cheese? You can bet I'm gonna be scraping that cheese out of the corner there when we're done here. All right, let's get this burger. I'm gonna pick one and I'm gonna get it in this bowl. Ooh, I'm gonna go with this guy. Oh, and that is the extra cheese, you guys. Holy, holy smokes. Look at the cheese is everywhere. What the heck? Amazing, right? <laughs> you are not gonna miss the bun at all. All right, so we've got the lettuce and now we've got the burger in there, the cheeseburger. All right, let's go ahead and assemble this guy. Oh, and I've got a secret, secret sauce that we're gonna put on this burger that I cannot wait to show you. All right, so I've got some bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda, you know, it's like a deconstructed 
hamburger. So you can do it however you want. You can stack it all up if you want. You can just kind of crumble everything around. Whatever you want, it's your burger bowl. All right, now I'm gonna take the pickles and I'm just gonna kind of get those on there all kind of around. I'm gonna salt my tomatoes. You know, my three slices that I did. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get these onions. I wanna get my onions all stacked up nice on top. Holy cow, does that look good? Oh my gosh, is that gonna be good? All right, so now the burger is literally buried, okay? And now I've got my salted tomatoes. I always like to salt my tomatoes just a little bit. Adds that nice little flavor. And now you guys, okay, this is what's gonna get really fun and really interesting. All of the condiments are just gonna get drizzled all along here. Now, before you poo poo it, think about it. When you eat a hamburger, all those toppings are all mixed into your lettuce anyways. So that's kind of gonna be like the quote dressing for our salad. All right, so here we go. Number one, I'm gonna do my boyfriend's trick and he loves a little uh, mayo on his tomato. So I'm just gonna kind of do that. You could totally layer all of the condiments underneath the toppings right onto the meat if you want. It's your burger ball. You do it however you want. Imagine if you had people over and you just had everything all lined up, right? It would be so fun and so easy. All right, now I want some ketchup because that's what I want. And now I've got a little bit of my, no, let's wipe that off. I've got a little bit of my mustard, just a little bit right on top of there, just like that. Little flavor of mustard. And now my secret, the Magnificence. Guys, if you grew up eating a Big Mac, I did. You're gonna love my next two toppings. So this is our quote Big Mac sauce, okay? So you're gonna wanna do a little bit of that and drum roll because we don't have a bun. How fun is it? We're gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds on there. I just thought it would be super fun, super cool, and very kind of tongue and cheeky, you know, since we don't have a bun. You guys, look at this salad. It's all in there. Everything you would eat on a hamburger is in here. The lettuce, the tomato, the mayo, ketchup, mustard, Special secret sauce, sauce magnificence. We've got pickles, tomato, cheese, and bacon. You guys, look, whoops. Look, that was a piece of my cheese. This is so good. All right, guys, it's time. I'm gonna cut into this now. I gotta see what this burger bowl is all about. This is such a fun meal. I can tell you already, I had a lot of fun making it. And I have a feeling I'm just gonna absolutely love this burger. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-hmm. This is so delicious, you guys. And I think it's kind of weird, like with the salad. Mm -mm. It's not. It's like the lettuce on your hamburger. Mixed in with all this stuff, right? Pickle, bacon. This is so, such a cool idea. A deconstructed hamburger. Thank you to whoever left me that comment. And guys, I'll see you back in my kitchen.